Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your spirit messages reading for November 2019 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you are Leo. So we have a couple of spirit message cards at the top. We've got a guidance card. I think a couple came out for you and also messages from the Archangels as well. I've also got three columns of cards here. So the first is the issue or challenge you need help from Spirit for, advice from Spirit, and outcome if you take the advice, Leo. And then there's a final card that I'll reveal at the end. This is the messages from Heaven deck. It is whatever Heaven means to you. The messages are beautiful. So I will, I'll reveal that at the end. So let's start with the Spirit message card. And the one that came out for you is Strength. <laughs> And this ties in with your strength card in tarot. You are strength. You are that lion. You have that lion heart. This is connecting to who you truly are, Leo. So strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. Isn't that beautiful? So, you're being given strength from the divine. The other card that came out is love yourself, love who you are. And I feel with the strength card as well, don't apologize for it. Don't let other, don't let other people make you feel small. This is about you being true to you from within, yeah. Now the first guidance card I have is empowerment. And I feel it comes from very much knowing your strength, who, in, who you truly are, and finding power from without. And that leads to empowerment and fulfillment. So I feel for some of you, there's opportunities to make headway by channeling your true power, your true strength, allowing you to make headway in situations that you need to make headway on to bring real fulfillment into your life in November. Beautiful message. And the final, the angel, the Archangel Oracle card is you know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Yeah. Like I said, this is doing something that is very aligned to you. That's where you, you find your power. When you do things that aren't aligned to you, aligned to you, Leo, that's where you, you lose power. That's when you lose your path. That's when you lose your clarity. And I feel this time, this month, you're coming back to who you are. Yeah. Because, I mean, this is beautiful. I'm going to start with this. We've got the star card here. Um, we've got the Nine of Cups and we've got the Emperor. So this is where the issue or challenge you need help from Spirit for. And the Star card is saying now is the time to hope. Now is the time to be open to receive. This is the Divine Wish Fulfillment card. And you have this with the Practical Wish Fulfillment card, the Nine of Cups. So I feel between the two. Now is the time not to let life get on top of you. Now is the time to believe in your hopes, dreams and wishes and that you can bring them to reality. The star energy is a wonderful sense of renewal. Interestingly, this card comes after the tower when all things come crumbling down, down when you are thrown back to the truth of who you are. You know, with no embellishment or anything else, that tower energy brings out real truth. And you start standing in your own light of who you truly are. That's when you find renewal. That's when you find new growth. That's when you start finding direction. And that's when you're open to receive blessings from the universe. To shine like this wonderful star amidst all the smaller stars in your own true light. There's a big message here of you can make your hopes, dreams and wishes come true, Leo. The Nine of Cups is somebody who has earned, who has worked hard for every single one of those cups 
that, that are on his trophy shelf now. He stands proud. There's a peacock feather here which says that you, by being practical, by channeling your potential, by channeling your strengths of who you are, you can bring your hopes, dreams and wishes to reality. You can turn your life to happiness. This is big happy changes, the card of big happy changes. Standing proud. So there's achievement to be had. But it is about finding direction, connecting to self, true self, in order to move forward in your external world. And that's where I think the card of Aries comes in, because we've got the Emperor. So we have, you can make your hopes, dreams and wishes come true. Very much with these two cards here. And the Emperor is saying, when you acknowledge your own power, when you channel your true power, he channels the Mars energy, that wonderful unbiased energy that can destroy or construct. And this is somebody who understands how to construct, how to start building his empire from the ground up with solid foundations that he builds that can't be knocked, that can't be shaken, because this is something that he has made every effort to build on his own. So there's a something of knowing your strength, know your power from within to really start expanding in your external world. He holds the staff of life here in his right hand and an orb which represents the world in his left hand. He shapes his life and his world. The world doesn't shape him. That's an acknowledgement of true power. And that's what you're being asked to come into your own. Be who you truly are. The star is truth. Um, have hope where well, you might have given up I just feel for some of you have hope now is the time to take the action now is the time to take the initiative now is the time to look for new opportunities to expand grow beautiful so any challenge that you're facing Leo anything that has made you feel that you need to dig deep for hope now it is asking you to channel your own power, to be who you truly are and recognize that and not apologize for that. Because you can take the steps to bring your hopes, dreams and wishes to reality now. The advice from spirit to make that happen. We have the King of Cups and the Hermit here. The Hermit is, you need to shine a light on what is holding you back. You need to shine a light, that lamp, on where you need to heal. This is somebody who, when they heal, when they raise their vibration from within, which is the hermit, he's ready tra to transform, to take action in his external environment. But it's doing the inner work, understanding from within what's holding you back. What areas of you, what, what areas, what is holding you back internally, what needs to be healed in order to move forward? And the King of Cups is surrounded by the ocean. Now, this could be somebody who is offering you support or advice. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo. Somebody who is giving you sound advice, giving you honest support, giving you emotional support in some way, loving guidance, loving support. Can sometimes be an offer of love. I also feel for some of you, the King of Cups is somebody who is offering you the Ace of Cups, which is about this is the time to be emotion, to accept emotional renewal. But in order to be emotionally renewed, in order to connect to your emotions from within and find your center from within, you need to understand what's holding you back from moving on, from rising above emotions that are pulling you down. Yeah. And I feel that's your... That's the advice from spirit. Shine a light from within in order to move forward in your external environment. Yeah. Because when you do, and I'm going to start with these two cards here, there's no stopping you. Remember the Virgo card here. This is a mercurial card. And we have the magician here, which is Mercury. So there's something about when you do the inner work, when you raise your vibration from within, when you heal, when you find your emotional center from within, 
That's when you're ready to move forward in your external world. That's when you're ready to tap into your magic because the magic comes from within. The magician is the internal realization and recognition of your own power your own capabilities, that when you take action, very much like that emperor in your external environment, you can bring positive change. This is saying now is the time to show the world what you're made of. And we have the king of rods here, the king of wands. This is you, Leo. The king of wands for me as a reader is fixed energy. This is you, this is Leo. This is saying now opportunity is waiting for you. Now is the time to be the opportunist. Now is the time to take the lead in your own life. Now is the time to take action. Channel your passion, your desires, your power, your practical abilities, who you truly are, and show the world what you're made of. Because there's opportunity here. The King of Wands can represent opportunity. Um, that can be in money and career, can be to do with something that you're really passionate about, something that this is prompting to change in your life. Um, the magician is when you're ready to show the world who you're made of, to reveal to the world who you truly are. And the king of, of rods, very much like the emperor, is taking the control, making it happen, taking the lead in your own life, being the opportunist now to take action. So it's a beautiful message. But in order to transform on the external world, Spirit is saying the, the magic lies within. It comes from within. It comes from doing that inner work first. And you'll be reminded of that here. Temperance is finding balance in your internal world in order to find flow, progress, move to new things, new horizons, new expansion. You know, this is linked to the Jupiterian energy of expansion, good luck, good fortune, growth, prosperity, abundance, all of that kind of thing. So when you find balance from within, I feel some of you, you're ready to receive in your external world. You're ready to take action and do the work that needs to be done. Put in the effort that needs to be made to bring positive transformation and change in your life. It's beautiful. So we have the peacock here and the peacock in tarot represents abundance. There's a promise of abundance here. We are proud of you and aware of your achievements. And that's the message from spirit, the final thought. Um, it's beautiful. Be proud of what you've accomplished so far, Leo. But also this is saying that when you really channel who you are, your strength, your power, there's no stopping you. So take action. Now is the time to take action and be who you truly are. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Leo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great month and I will see you next time. Thank you.